Welcome to the next eAcademy episode. Today, we will be discussing the topic related to the two communication modules, namely the ETHM1 Plus and the INTGSM. To begin with, we remind you that both modules can work with the Intrica and Intrica Plus control panels in two ways. The first option is when only one of these modules is working with the control panel. The other option that will be discussed in today's episode is when the ETHM1 Plus and the INTGSM modules are working in tandem. The advantage of this solution with the Ethernet network not available is that the INTGSM module takes over the task of the ETHM1 Plus module. GPRS is then used as a backup transmission path. In addition, it enables you to make use of the so-called dual path reporting. If this is the case, only the Earthnet module is connected to the keypad bus and the RS232 port of the Intrica control panel. The communication modules are connected to each other via the RS485 port. In a moment, we will present to you how to configure the ETHM1 Plus network settings. We will also show you what options should be enabled to establish a connection between the DLODEX program and the Intrica control panel via the Earthnet module. It is worth noting that the configuration method discussed here will apply to both cases mentioned above. That is, when the ETHM1 Plus is working with the intricate control panel alone or in tandem with the INTGSM. Okay, what are we going to use in this episode? For today's presentation, we will need a computer with the Windows operating system and the DLODEX program installed, Intrica 128 Plus control panel with power supply and battery, ETHM1 Plus and INT GSM modules, INT TSG keypad, two SIM cards, RJ pin 5 cable that will be used to connect the control panel with the Ethernet module, USB RS converter, and a network cable. Before starting configuration, it should be noted that for the INTGSM module to work properly with the Ethernet module and the Intrica control panel, it is necessary that they have the appropriate firmware installed. Intrica and Intrica Plus should have firmware version 1.18 or later. ETHM1 Plus should have firmware version 2.05 or later while the Deload X program version should be 1.18.000 or later. The latest firmware and software is available for download from our website. As for the diagram of connections between the communication modules and the control panel, you can find it in the INTGSM module manual. The diagram does not include connection via the RS232 port. This issue will be discussed later in the video. The devices are already connected to each other. They all have factory settings. In the ETHM1 Plus module, the first address is set. The way of addressing devices working in SATL systems was discussed in the 33rd episode of the eAcademy. Let's begin the configuration. First, turn on the power supply of the set and wait for the control panel to start. Then, connect the control panel to the computer and connect the network cable to the Ethernet module. To enter the local programming mode, open the terminal, type in the service code and confirm with asterisk. Find the downloading item, press hash. Press hash again to confirm entering the local programming mode. Go to the computer and run the DLODEX program. Indicate the COM port to which the control panel is connected. Click OK. Confirm establishing a connection with the new alarm system. Enter any name and click OK again. Wait until the data is read from the control panel. Open the structure window and go to the hardware tab. Click on keypads and then start identification. Click next, now press OK. Individual devices have been identified. In the list, choose the ETHM plus GSM item which is responsible for connected communication modules working in tandem. Now you need to approve the displayed message. Data is read from the INT GSM module. In the top part of the window, you can check the firmware version of the connected modules. Initially, you can only see information about the Ethernet module. Click Refresh button. In this case, the number of the ETHM1 Plus firmware version is 2.05 and the INT GSM firmware version is 1.00. Important information. If the ETHM1 Plus and INT GSM modules are connected to each other, but after identification in the system the Earthnet module is only visible, it may mean that its firmware version is too old. 
Currently, the settings related to INT GSM are displayed on the screen. Details of the configuration of this device were presented in the previous three episodes of the eAcademy. In the meantime, data has been entered into the GSM phone tab and SIM cards have been inserted into the INT GSM slots. Click the right button. Now let's go to the ETHM1 tab. By default, the option to automatically obtain the IP address from the DHCP survey is selected. If this option was not selected, parameters such as IP address, subnet mask and gateway would have to be entered manually. Of course, it all depends on the settings of the network to which our ETHM1 Plus module is connected. On the right, you can see the DNS server field. By default, the Obtain DNS Server Address Automatically option is selected. You can also manually enter the DNS address of your internet provider or, for example, Google. The latter option often seems the most convenient, especially when you do not know any other address and you are not sure if the module can download such an address automatically. So enter the Google public DNS address, that is 8.8.8.8. .8 Below you can see the field related to the INT GSM settings. Just like we showed you in the previous episodes devoted to this module, you can enable support for the SIM1, SIM2 cards as well as the SMS messaging. Select the required options. Then, in order to establish a connection between the computer with the DLODEX program and the control panel using communication modules, you must select the Communication with DLODEX option. A window has appeared in the program to inform you that some additional options must be enabled. Click Yes to activate them automatically. Next to it, enter the DLODEX key which can consist of 12 alphanumeric characters. To make it easier to remember, we will enter ones alone. The DLODEX server and port fields apply to a situation in which the module is to be able to connect to the DLODEX program skipping the SATL connection setup service. We leave them unchanged. Nothing will be changed in the GUARDX field either. Then select the connection via SATL server option. Having entered all this data, send it to the control panel. Now wait until the ETHM1 Plus downloads the IP addresses and the INT GSM enrolls the SIM cards with cellular networks. OK, as you can see, local and public IP addresses as well as information about GSM network signal strength have appeared in the selected fields. Let's check if the SATL server has assigned the ID number to the ETHM module. OK, a string of characters other than F letters alone now appears in the ID field. We can therefore try to connect the control panel via the SATL connection setup service. To do so, terminate the local connection to the computer. Now unplug the USB RS converter from the control panel. Next, connect the RS-232 ports of the ETHM1 Plus module and control panel using the RJ pin 5 cable. You must also check whether connecting the RJ pin 5 cable has terminated the local programming mode. OK, this feature has been turned off. Let's go back to the DLODEX program. In the communication menu, select the Connection Settings option. Check whether the fields related to the connection via the SATL server are filled in. OK, all fields already contain data. If necessary, you can enter the data manually. Click OK. Now in the connection menu, select the option TCP IP Connection SATL Server. Click Connect. As you can see, the connection has been established. This means that the configuration process has been carried out correctly. We would like to remind you that the network settings are configured in a way which is similar to that we have just demonstrated, both whether the ETHM1 Plus alone or the ETHM1 Plus and the INT GSM tandem are connected to the intricate control panel. This is the end of today's presentation. Thank you. We invite you to watch the next episodes of the Academy. See you next time.